calling the aerial lift bridge, the uh, HD White. HD White, this is the aerial lift bridge, Cap. As you guys are coming up to Cargill, I'll go ahead and uh, get things started here shortly for you. Copy that, thank you. Are you back, Cap? Also, you got neutral current. Neutral current, thank you. Good afternoon visitors, right now departing through the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the H. Lee White. The H. Lee White was built in 1974 by the Bay Ship Building Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 704 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. She is powered by two 3,600 horsepower, 20-cylinder General Motors diesel engines. She's also equipped with 1,000 horsepower bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. Captain salutes, it is one long and two short blasts of a horn. The H. Lee White has 30 hatches on her deck, which open into six cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 44 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 35,400 tons. Above her deck is a 251-foot cell felony boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The H. Lee White is owned by the American Steamship Company of Williamsville, New York, and she's operated under charter by Grand River Navigation of Traverse City, Michigan. If you see any crew on board, make sure you give them a big wave and wish them a safe trip. They are on their way to Thunder Bay, likely to load up some wheat.